Welcome guys and girls to yet another devlog of the game Fireworks Mania. As always this time of year the weather in Denmark is great with rain, wind and cold. So let's get inside and start on the Fireworks Mania devlog. This devlog starts in a live stream I did on Friday the 21st of February where I decided to go ahead and do something that a lot of you have asked about. You have asked for more fireworks and different kind of fireworks. So I went live for an hour and needed to do a new piece of fireworks including a model, sound and setting it up in Unity. Here's a clip of how it looked when I took it for a spin in Unity for the first time. And let's see what happens if I... Okay. Something is going on. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It works as a slammer rocket, of course, because I just copied it from the slammer. Whoa! So even though it looked a little funny, it was actually an okay first go of this new Whistler type of fireworks. Next up, I coded up a script that makes it behave a little more like a real Whistler, whistler and uh, how we want it to behave in the game. With the script done, it was time to find some sounds for it. And here's the final result after an hour. It's not perfect, but for an hour work on a live stream, I think it's fairly good. We made the models, we made the behavior, we made the particle effects, we made the sound. Well, we didn't make the sound, but we put it together in, in Unity. And with that, the stream was ending and uh, we had a new piece of fireworks in the game. This piece of fireworks is not supposed to go into the demo, but for the final game. But anyhow, we created a new one and uh, in the future, we'll see much more of stuff like this. And then I wanted to create a little clip for Twitter to showing off how it can ignite each other. So I put it on a, on a table and it didn't work out for some time. But then at the end, I had this clip where you can see it igniting the one next to it. And also you can see the new disappearing animation here, which is actually pretty cute and cartoonish. I like it. So the next day was time for some performance optimization of this new little fella and also tweaking the behavior. So that's why he looks a little different here and it behaves a little different than it did in the end of the live stream. This new type of fireworks we call Whistler and the name of this particular one is called Screaming Pal. That's a name we found in the live stream. People came with a suggestion in the chat and I ended up picking my own suggestion which was Screaming Pal. Sorry guys. A few days has passed, actually a lot, like six days, and I uh, had time to work on the game again, and this time around I was also looking into some performance optimization. That's a recurring theme, as mentioned before, um, and this time I was just testing out some different lighting things and how I could change things to make the performance a little better. Some of the recent optimizations I've done have made the game load a little slower. So the game and the initial menu load a little slower, but the game actually runs better once you get into the level. But for you to not bore yourself to death while waiting for the game to load, I am here working on a loading screen. So the game now loads with a loading screen when you start it up and also when you are entering the level. The next day was time to look at some user feedback. Waffle Boy here reported that in some of the houses that you are not supposed to go into, you can actually rip off the door by using the physics tool. We of course cannot let that happen, so I jumped straight into Unity and fixed it right away, so it's no longer possible to rip off the door of these houses. Not even possible to blow them off. So that one fixed, checked, move on. The next thing is not so much a user feedback thing, but more an observation I did by watching YouTube videos of people playing Fireworks Mania. A lot of them want to blow up this playground, but that's not currently possible because there's no colliders and with the bodies on these models. So I fixed that, so now the playground is also blow upable, you could say. At least all the objects are affected by the physics forces of the fireworks now. Today we're going to look at something that has been bugged me for a while. 
the fireworks in the game is kind of, you know, the thing that the game is actually about, but it's a little hard to see in the game. As you can see here, um, it's a little dark and that has been annoying me for a while. So I try to add some emission of um, yeah, light, you could say, so the fireworks glows up a little more in game and it's easy to see. And I think it actually, I, I think I found a good amount of, of emission to, to add here. You can see the difference here, where it's it just makes the fireworks a little easier to see. So I hope you enjoyed this um, this little change and it makes the, the fireworks stand out a little more without standing out too much. So with the mission in place, I started playing around with the spawn location of the player. I was a little tired of starting in this corner of the map all the time, so I tried moving him around, but uh, it didn't actually feel right and, and it made no sense to start in a shop where you can't buy anything yet and stuff like that. I also asked the community for a suggestion of where to spawn, um, but even though I got some good suggestions, it, it didn't feel right. So I ended up just moving him back to his original start location. And talking about community, I set up a Discord server because a lot of you ask for it. So there's now a Laumania Discord where we can talk fireworks mania and other stuff. So feel free to join, there is a link in the description. Before this day ended, I also had a little time to work on some other feedback from Waffle Boy, which complained about the water in one of the swimming pools. He complained about being able to walk on it. So, bada bing, bada bang, one, two, three, fixed. Water is now drained out of the pool and you can jump into it. I also added colliders to some of the parts that was over there because it was missing on the chairs and stuff like that. But uh, that should be all good now. Check it out in the next update. After playing around with the screaming pal off camera and showing it off to a few people, a few people suggested that I should make the screaming pal able to explode in the end if you did a certain thing to it before igniting it. So I implemented that so now it explodes when it's uh, done flying around, um, but it only happens if you do a certain thing. I won't say here what it is, um, but uh, try different things and if you were a kid in the 90s you might know what it was that you could do to these kind of uh, Whistler types of fireworks to make them sometime explode at the end. So today is the 7th of March and I'm trying to get this devlog finished up and polished so it's ready for you to watch on YouTube later tonight. After that I will put the last uh, finishing touches of the update of the demo which contains what you saw in this devlog. And um, you might recall I said that the screaming pal wouldn't be a part of the demo, it was part of the real game. But I actually changed my mind because I thought well... This will be the last demo update for a while because I will change my focus to actually work on the full game, meaning a lot more stuff will come in these videos, hopefully. New stuff, new um, functionality, new fireworks and new stuff like that. Sadly, you can't try it out right away because I will not push that into the demo. But for this um, last and final update of the demo for a while, I think I'll actually push this uh, Screaming Pal in. So. Keep an eye on Steam because this update will come out either tonight the 7th of March or tomorrow the 8th of March. So you can take the Screaming Pal and all the other changes I've showed here for a spin for yourself. <laughs> Hope you'll stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you like this video and if you like the game. Also as mentioned in this video we have a Discord server now you can join and um, yeah, please put a comment, let me know what you think either in Discord or here on YouTube, both places, that's up to you. Hope to see you soon again and um, I'll try and keep these devlogs coming as I move along with the game. See you in the next video.